the largest vintage market in the city, the neighborhood flea, is back. The vibrant open air pop up has really become a cherished Pittsburgh tradition over the last few years. It certainly has. And we are joined today by the director, Carrie Nardini. And you brought such a great, as always, display for us to give us a little taste of what you can find there. Yes. So we are kicking off our season this Sunday for Mother's Day. Uh, and we are moving one block away. It's still in the Strip District. It's at um, 28th and Railroad. And we have a park parking lot right across the street and what you'll find there is a variety of things from handmade, vintage, mm -hmm. collections, services, locally distilled alcohol, <laughs> uh, right in front of you. <laughs> hand painted <laughs> items, Pittsburgh um, Pittsburgh specific items. I can't pick that up, sorry. Uh, and, and like um, this is from one of our longtime flea vendors, Shane Henderson, and we have things for mom and me these are some really or sorry doll for doll and me so little girls only. that's great it's so cute can i ask you about this fella here absolutely i would because love to tell he, you about that he's a model yes. uh, when i first saw him i was like oh do we have another pet to adopt uh but it's actually the bandana right yes not so, the dog uh, not the dog <laughs> so a young woman creates those she and her dog are bffs and she started to create clothing and pajamas and bandanas for her pup and so she will be at the flea. And a cool thing about the flea is that we have lots of, we call flea dogs that show up and we have lots of items for dog owners, you know, for, for, for moms and dads, mm -hmm. including we have some, some soap and dog treats. We have the bandanas. There's just a little bit of everything at the flea and we especially love to see our doggies. It's so great. And you mentioned just a couple of the things that we have on the table mm -hmm. and some really great items from clothing and some decor and things like that. Um, but we also want to talk about what else is happening that day. You mentioned ice cream. There will be food trucks. Yes, food trucks. We have different food sellers in addition to the food trucks, like these caramels that are made in small batches here in Pittsburgh. And we have gluten free goodies and then even things like Pittsburgh memorabilia that you can find some brand new and some that are um, that are vintage finds. And I okay. love that you you curate this. Yeah. Like so you pick and choose. So some of this is is crafts and mm -hmm. arts that are made. Some of it is vintage stuff mm -hmm. like like for instance this. Yes. That's Kensington ware which is made in Pittsburgh and my grandmother actually would collect that. So it's kind of special to me. It's really wonderful and it's really exciting. So this isn't just happening this weekend. This is kind of right. the kickoff. So yes. tell us when people can find you and is it going to be at the same location every it Every will. Time. It will be at the same location. It's the second Sunday of each month from May through October, and we happen from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. There's convenient parking, as we know. We oh, don't always like to it. try to find parking <laughs> directly across the street. You only have to walk a couple steps, and um, we'll have music playing. It's just going to be like a very vibrant, exciting, fun time. And if you like to have to buy a gift for somebody, yes. this seems like the perfect destination because yes. you can entertain yourself and find things you'd never find anywhere else. Like Beard Bomb. Yes. David, this is for you. Oh, I got this for you. Oh, thank you, Heather. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> I was going to mention that we also have, if you're thinking ahead to Father's Day, we can get you settled there too. Fantastic. See, that would happen too. We would think ahead months. In a, in <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, thank you. We love talking to you, and we're always excited about it. Thank, thank you. you. The neighborhood flea happens once a month uh, in May through October.